Hi YouTube, my name is David. Today I'm going to cover a couple of topics. Uh, the first one is just a tune around the HP Spectre X360. It's the late 2016 model. The second thing is the connection between the Razer Core and the HP Spectre. And after that I'm going to show you how to how easy it is to service this uh, unit? <coughs> Change the SSD, for example. Okay, let's start. Most of you probably have seen this already since it has been out for almost a half a year. Uh, if we take a tour around, we have um, the USB 3.1 uh, Gen 1 uh, connection, and there is a headphone jack and the power on off and this is uh, is uh, the speaker grills and on the back nothing and on this side we have uh, two usb uh, type c ports it's uh, both are thunderbolt and uh, the volume rocker and uh, that's it very nice build so if we open up again and I show you when, <coughs> when I connect the HP to the Razer Core, the Razer Core contains an uh, MSI 1070 graphic card and uh, over here I have my monitor. So, see if I can cover this. So, so I'm going to connect the cable, the Thunderbolt 3 cable, to the unit. And see, it takes a couple of seconds. it connects to the monitor and as you see it works quite flawlessly it takes some five seconds or something usually for it to connect but uh, it's a very powerful arrangement and I will also create a video with the gaming benchmarks if you are interested okay now to the service of the HP we shut it down first. So now it's completely shut down. Disconnect the uh, thumb of three cable and uh, place it upside down. Remove the uh, USB um, connector for the mouse and uh, put it upside down. Let's see if we can get a closer picture. So you may see we have a couple of uh, number of screws. It's a Torx screw. Torx, uh, it's a T5 um, screw driver you need. So it's uh, two on this side, two on that side, and two up there. And also under the rubber feet, we have also. Uh, screws. So first let's pry away the, the rubber feet. Uh, I would suggest you use some plastic tool because um, it's aluminium and it can easily be scratched. So 
so now I use my tools. I have a set pair, quite good. And um, I'll start with this one. So let's start unscrewing. I like suggest you use a proper tool for this because um, otherwise you can damage the screws and uh, I don't think they are easily replaced. <coughs> and uh, for the screws under the rubber feet, we need the other ordinary uh, star uh, tip. So far, so good. I would recommend uh, that you, when you are removing it, you start from the back here and put your fingernails under this uh, hinge. And uh, be careful to loosen it up. can see the internals and uh, under here you have the SSD you just loosen that screw and pull it out and then you can upgrade to a larger SSD and this model it's an uh, it's a Core i7 model with uh, 16 gigabyte RAM and uh, 512 uh, gigabyte um, SSD. It's an NVMe PCIe4 type. Here you can say, see uh, what you also can upgrade is. Um, I think you can upgrade also the the V5 uh, card here. Well, uh, and uh, to put it all together again, it's. Quite easy just to push this in place. So it falls quite easily in place, and then it's just to put back the screws again. And uh, you may have to put on some glue or some adhesive on uh, this ones but uh, you see it's um, uh, this is this is um, this uh, ring is going into to that part there so you have to put it in the right direction okay that's all for this time okay thank you very much for watching please um, leave a comment if you 
interested in seeing anything more or then please give me a thumbs up if you like this video thank you very much bye bye